This is Jason in Jason's Jungle. Now this is the first time I've really been down since February. In fact, first time I've been down, second time I've been down this year uh, due to, well, deaths, illness and lockdown and then work. Because I work in uh, healthcare. I've been pulling you know, 24 hour shifts day after day, so I haven't been down. So this is the first time we're down to the plot and uh, it is going to be one hell of a state. Let's go and have a look in. Okay, so this is the outside of it. As you can see in there, it's got lovely yellow flowers from buttercups and what looks like kale. Uh, and it's got loads of weeds. The grapes are coming back. Um, this is the Himalayan honeysuckle, which didn't get cut back last year because I wasn't able to get down. And well, this is an apple tree that needed to be cut down, but never did. I might have to hack back some of that in the summer, massive summer prune. So basically the, the apple trees on this side, closest to it, didn't get cut, but the ones on the other side did. Uh, blackberry that never got tied up. And into the gate. So we're starting the food section. Oh look at the bees already around the country, which is, needs to be harvested. Um, raspberries, uh, this is John Jay, uh, is doing well. Uh, Tourmaline's got loads of uh, flowers already on, bees are buzzing around them. Now I didn't cut any of these back, so we'll see what they both do like in the summer. Um, blackcurrants, oh look at these, loads of blackcurrants on there, so that's going to be a good year. And oh, down here is Butte Island, this is called I think Butte Island Blush. You see the pink pom poms of the chive, so rather than the mauve ones, these have pink. And they've come up and spread. I only started off with one or two little things of them. But we've got cherries. Ooh, we've got pears going. Uh, so there's pears on the pear trees, cherries on the cherry tree, apples on the apple trees, but nout on the plum trees. Uh, that's a shame. I really wanted plums. Okay, let's squeeze back in there. I've got some, put some spuds down, I just dumped there before I start the video. Uh, into the main section. Uh, oh God, look at this. What a state. Rhubarb's doing well. I mean, look at this. Well, that's doing really well. Could have to have a lot of rhubarb. Strawberries, they're doing okay. Salty leek, that'll be uh, probably elephant garlic. It goes everywhere. Into the next bed, we've got some volunteer potatoes. This is the path that's covered in buttercup. Voluntary potatoes from last year's crop. Might as well grow them on. Then we've got upri growing in this bed. Way through the weeds. So we've got upri in here and scores never at the end. In here, we've got what looks like bolted parsnips and some looks like scores never again and the next bed weeds next bed weeds and another scores never that's don't plant scores never unless you have a permanent bed and then up to the top this thing is loads of oh whatever and the same on this one weeds 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 I pop through into the new territories. Well, if we look back at the greenhouse, you can see it's been blown. Yeah, so that wasn't doing too well. So the new territories, the kale, the uh, cabbage, I've got one of them surviving still, and I'm gonna have to cut back quite heavy on that because it's in seed. Uh, weeds everywhere. This is Scotch lovage, that's doing fine. The kale here, this is perennial kale, you've got Taunton Dean's kale over the back there, and you've got Dorbin's doing well, Rhubarb's doing well, Fennel, coming back, Sweet Sicily's doing well. Uh, I've got Upri over there, that's doing well. I've got Babington Leek here, that's coming, that's doing a nice strong patch there to, to split out. So those bits are doing well, in amongst the weeds. And let's see, up here, we have, oh look at these little things, this is 
Is this the quince or the medlar? One of the two. And uh, this is the other one. We've got a goji and we've got something else which I've forgotten. Yes, that's cartoon. And loads of weeds. <coughs> well, we've definitely got some things going. And to this bed, we've got good King Henry there. We've got, uh, as I said, we've got that cabbage that I'd give a haircut to. We've got, now that's not a cardoon. Yeah, that's a cardoon. It's not a Jerusalem artichoke. And we've got sorrel. Then some old cardoons at the back. And look at the size of these flower heads. All those seeds as well. We'll leave them for the birds over winter and they haven't eaten them all. Hee. Hunger and In here, we've got a few cool garlics. Or garlics here. And they've obviously spread off into the path. Because there's some there. And they go into the flower. So we're getting all sorts going here. In here, we've got. Uh, various types of welsh onion and i thought i had walking onions but obviously not uh, we've also got the chard which is bolted and that's all i could really see in there i think that's probably all that was in there and the next bed is the garlic which is going quite well. I mean, some of it's not come. But if you look along here, you can see all the red currants. Oh, no, these are, yeah, red currants. have now got loads of little flowers on. And the grapes are coming back. And look at this, little bunches of, baby bunches of grapes. So we've got red currants there, coming down. And then as we go around here, we'll look down, we'll get to the gooseberries. Um, I need to tie up the, the kiwi fruit and also hack off a few bits of it because it's going a bit wild. Good. Uh, Welsh onions again. Looks like a kale there that's still surviving. And lots of kale that's bolted. And then loads of weeds. Uh, more weeds. And some more weeds. So we've got a lot of weeding to do. And I've just got to get on with it so... 30 by, hope, I'm playing with a new 360 camera, so I'm hoping I can cut this down to a reasonable looking video whilst I play with it. Okay, ta-ra.